Welcome to the Zoom Users Joining a Meeting Tutorial updated for the 2020-2021 school year. This Zoom tutorial applies to all students K-12 through as well as all Scarsdale Schools employees. When using Zoom, users must always keep in mind they need to be logged on their scarsdaleschools.org account. All Scarsdale meetings are restricted to Scarsdale accounts only. Students are issued devices by the district making this easier. Staff members should be using Chrome and the people feature in Chrome to keep their personal and work accounts separate. This table of contents will allow you to jump between the different sections depending on the device you're using. To review the people feature, again, this is just for staff members using a personal device where they may have another Google account on it. You need to keep Google accounts separate as if they were separate individuals. You use the people feature from the top of the Mac or the little avatar on the right hand side, which is available on the Mac and the PC. You add a new user, give your user a name, sign in because you already have an account. This is signing you into the new user account, including at scarsdellschools.org. If you do not add the at scarsdellschools.org, Google will think it's a Gmail account. Enter your password, and then you will see that you're in. Turn on sync to make sure that all of your data is connected to this device. Once you are in, you can begin using Zoom. And you could also begin managing the different people removing other users and adding new ones if you need to. You can toggle between the users through the people menu or by clicking on that little avatar head in the top right. When using Zoom on a Chromebook, sign in as your scarsdaleschools.org account. For students, it will be the only account on your device. For staff members, if you are using a Chromebook that has other people using it, you will need to make sure you are signed in only as you and not another user on the device. Click the little launcher in the bottom left. When it opens up, if you do not see Zoom right away, you click the little carrot. You will then see Zoom. This is auto-installed on district-issued devices. Again, students should be only using their district-issued device to ensure that the apps they need are accessible. Tap it to open Zoom. For the 2020-21 school year, Zoom will be signing in with SSO using your full scarsdaleschools.org address. Scarsdaleschools.zoom.us is the organizational domain for SSO. Click continue. You will sign in using your full and complete email address. Even students have a full and complete email address, which includes the at scarsdaleschools.org. Enter your password. When this box comes up, ask it not to show again and say yes. And then you are in Zoom. You have authenticated to Zoom and you're ready to join the meeting. So go back to your Google Calendar or wherever else your link may be. All students do have access to Google Calendar, but links may also appear in other apps like Seesaw and Google Classroom. So go to wherever you found your meeting link. Click on the event so you see the Join Zoom Meeting option. When you click on it, a new tab will open up. Just give it a second. Then the Zoom window will open up. If it looks like this, it is okay. Do not try to sign in again. Just give it a second. It'll take a second to recognize that you're already logged in, and then you will be connected. You can join with video and internet audio. It will take a second to connect again, and then you will be in the meeting. You can use the tools across the bottom to Raise your hand, give thumbs up, and chat. Once the meeting is ended, this tab that opened up originally that was blank will have something else on it, usually a Zoom advertisement of some sort. Ignore it, close the tab. If you are sharing a Chromebook because you are a staff member and you have other people in your home that use it or you use it with a personal account, make sure you sign out fully of the Chromebook before you try to sign in with a different Google account. Again, students should be using their district-issued device, and the only account on a district-issued device should be the student's district account. 
before you try to use a different person on a Chromebook, you need to be at this screen so you know exactly who you're using. Otherwise, you'll have a conflicted account. On a Mac or a PC, it's very similar. You make sure you have the Zoom app downloaded. Sign in with SSO. Again, this is for all users. Scarsdellschools.zoom.us, just like the Chromebook sign in. Looks exactly the same as the Chromebook sign in because it is the same login path. Password, don't show, say yes. And then Zoom looks like this. Looks a little bit different on the Mac or PC than it does on a Chromebook, but the process is the same. Go back to Calendar or Google Classroom or Seesaw or your email. Click on the meeting ID, click on the link. You will open zoom.us and you will be in the meeting. Same thing when you end the meeting, there will be a blank tab. You can just close it. And if you need to sign out to use a different person in Zoom, you need to sign out by clicking the avatar in the top right and then looking at the bottom of the resulting menu for sign out. Then you could sign in with a different user if you had to for some reason. Again, this mostly only applies to staff members as students with a district issued device should be signing in only on their district issued device. For an iPad or iPhone, the Zoom app, click sign in, SSO, just like the other methods, scarsoschools.zoom.us, just like the other devices. Again, the screen is the same because it is the same sign-in method regardless of what device you are using. We sign in, we don't show again, and you'll say open. If Zoom asks you different things, that is up to you. If it is a personal device, you will choose your personal preferences. You will also allow it to access your calendar so you can open up the links directly from calendar. And now you're in. So in closing, make sure students always use their district issued device for Zoom, not a personal device. Students have been issued devices to ensure easy access to Zoom without conflicts. Staff members, if you are using Chrome on a Mac or PC, be sure to use the people feature. If you are using a Chromebook as a staff member, make sure you are only logged into one Scarzell Schools account at a time. Log all the way out of a personal account before you log in to your work account. Parents, we have a Zoom best practices for parents document and feel free to check that out as well. Thank you very much and happy Zooming.